I am Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is Jeannie. And this is David. Hello. And this is your wedding dress arms workout. So this is a workout in our wedding workout series. Jeannie is about to get married. Yeah. And David is a bridesman in her wedding. Right. So arms are something that almost all brides want to work because they want to look nice and strong and toned and tight in their dress. So this is what we'll be working on. We'll throw in a few extra things here or there to keep your heart rate up and keep you moving. But mostly we'll just be working arms, back, shoulders, all of the good parts that you'll see in that dress. So all you need is a set of dumbbells. If you have more than one set, keep them close by. We're gonna be giving you options if you have a lighter set or a heavier set. So don't worry if you only have one set. Are you guys ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start, just get a quick little warm up. We won't get very much of a warm up, but we are gonna roll through our arms and our back. So we're just rolling our arms to the back and then reverse it to the front. As always, if you need more of a warm up, make sure you get it on your own. Let's do a couple big deep breaths in and out. And like I said, we'll aim to get a few little active recovery intervals in between while we're letting our arms take a quick break. So we'll aim to keep that heart rate up as well. Let's roll through our back. So flat back down and then round it up. So flat down, round up a couple times, breathing through that. Last one right here and hold underneath the legs and just roll the shoulders forward just over for two. There we go. And then roll it up one more time. And just big arm swings to the top. There we go. Make sure you don't hit your partners. <laughs> and to the side, just crossing over and under. Yep. And then a few little just torso rotations as we'll be working through the back. And we'll add in a few little ab things when we're down on the mat as well. So the first several moves we're gonna be standing and then we'll go to the mat. Okay, so shake it all out. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells, bend your knees to do it. Make sure we're not bending from our back to get our dumbbells. So we are going to start with a very basic front raise. So roll the shoulders back, knees are soft, and I'm gonna have you lean forward just a bit and we're just gonna raise straight up and down so it looks like this to the side just shoulder level we don't have to go much higher than that if you've got heavier dumbbells like david you could always just alternate one at a time if it starts to feel like too much totally fine again we're just staying level with the shoulders we're going to build on all these exercises we're going to start with one thing and then add on so don't worry we're not going to do anything for too long let's go two more just like this and last one and then let's reverse it guys. So let's go to the back. So you're gonna go straight up to the back. So it's gonna be a small range of motion. Again, roll those shoulders, shoulders back and kind of lean forward just a bit and push those straight arms up to the ceiling behind you. So you're obviously not gonna be go, able to go super far unless you have crazy flexibility. Perfect. Yep, so you're squeezing in between the shoulder blades so we're getting the back. We're also getting the back of the arms, the triceps and all through the shoulders. And let's go three more. Keep breathing. And last one. So roll it up, just tap it out. So while we're resting those shoulders, yeah, felt it? <laughs> yeah. I know, already feeling it. My heart rate's already All right guys, so let's put a version of that, let's put it together. So one arm's gonna go up, one arm's gonna go back. So let's have everybody turn to the side so you can see. Soft knees, roll the shoulders back. One up, one back, and then cross through in the center. So abs are pulled in. Everything's in nice and tight, except not locking your knees. And again, I'm just going about the same range of motion as I did before. So for the front raise, I'm level with my shoulders. For the back raise, just about as far as I can go. If it feels too heavy, if you have heavier dumbbells, you can always just do one at a time and then switch it totally up to you. Just breathe, right? I know, it's a fun little motion. Kind of feels like we're gonna take off. Last four. Three, two, and one, roll it up, tap it out, yes, right? Yeah. So you can tell, even though we're not doing cardio, our heart rates are staying oh, yeah. up, because oh, yeah. we're engaging a lot of muscles. All right, roll those shoulders, shoulders get a quick little break. We're gonna do a hammer bicep curl. So palms are in, just curling up to the shoulders, and down, nice and simple. We love this one, working through the biceps. Sadly, with biceps, there aren't a whole lot of options of different exercises you can do. 
but the curl is very effective, very functional. I do this motion every day when I pick up a baby. <laughs> so, as you guys do with anything you pick up. So, very functional, two more. Breathe. So we're gonna hold it up right here and then watch me. We're gonna push out, squeeze in. So biceps are still working and then we're squeezing in the back. Out and in, yes. So again, a lot of what we're gonna do is pulling these shoulder blades in, last three. <laughs> Wish you guys could see their faces too. And one, relax it down. So we're gonna stay there. We're gonna put those two together, not very many. So we're going up, we're going out, we're going in, we're going down. Here we go. Up, out, squeezing the shoulder blades, drop them down. Up, out, in, and down. Breathe up, out, in, and down. back, we're like really clenching in the back. Really pull those shoulder blades in. Two more is all we need. Up, out, squeezing the shoulder blades, relax it down. Last one, up, out, in and down, Woo! Right. roll through them, yep. <laughs> All right guys, so at this point, drop them down. We're gonna get, give our hands a break from holding them. Just shake those out. Quick little cardio interval. We're just step touching. We're gonna keep it really short, only about 30 seconds just so we get a break from holding. Arms get a break, which we all want. So it's up to you. You can just step it. If you wanna take it to a little bit of a jump, you can do that too. Totally fine or if you just wanna grab a sip of water, that's fine too. We're almost done with our standing portion, and then we're gonna take it down to the mat. So just about 10 seconds. How are the arms feeling? Good. Good. Definitely needed this break. Yeah, and really all you need is like 30 seconds to really feel like refreshed and ready to go. All right, so bend your knees again, grab those dumbbells. So we're gonna do a similar <laughs> bicep curl. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but it was funny. <laughs> All right, so roll those shoulders back, palms up to the ceiling. We're curling up to the side this time. So we're squeezing in, pulling the dumbbells towards the shoulders. So it's just an externally rotated bicep curl. Yep, just squeeze. And we'll go three more. Three, two, hold it here about halfway, guys. We're going up, squeeze it in. Up, squeeze it in. If you have heavier dumbbells, you can do one at a time. So just up and squeeze, or if you're just feeling it. I know, we just did a similar motion. So it's totally fine to do one at a time. Pull those shoulder blades in, last two. And one, relax and down, tap it out. Guess what? Let's put them together. All right, and then bicep curls, we'll give them a break, I promise. All right, roll those shoulders out, palms up, curl it up. Press it up and out, squeeze it in, bring it down. Here we go. Up, out, squeeze, and down. Curl it all the way in, press up, squeeze, and down. You got it, guys. Your arms are gonna look yeah. so good. I keep thinking about my dress, I'm like, oh, do this. I know, and don't worry, ladies, you will not get big, bulky muscles. It's not possible, we don't have enough testosterone to do it. You're only gonna tighten and tone, so your measurements will go down. You're gonna look smaller, you're gonna get stronger. And relax, Woo, tap it out. All right, so here we go guys. Roll those shoulders back. We're gonna go into a row position. So shoulders back, flat back down. Here's the difference, we're gonna go wide with it. So if you're looking at me from the front, we're squeezing to the sides. So typically we do a row close. We're gonna do that down on the mat. So we're here, squeeze. Shoulder blades in, yep, and again, looking at both of their backs, they're nice and flat. What we wanna make sure is that we're not rounding in the back. So if you feel your lower back, bring it back here, hinge at the hips, we'll go four, and three, and two. So hold it at the top, watch me, turn those palms to the back, kick it out to the side, triceps, yep, so your back stays working. Again, if it feels too heavy, just go one at a time, right and then left. Squeeze, three, two, and one. Roll those shoulders, Woo! bring it up, tap it out. This is great. Yeah! <laughs> Last thing standing, and then we are down on the mat. 
I know, it's a lot of back, it's a lot of shoulders, it's a lot of arms, but that's the workout, right? Good. Okay, so let's put it together. Shoulders back, slight bend in the knees, hinge at the hips, wide row, push it out, in, drop it down. Squeeze in the shoulder blades, push to the ceiling, through the triceps, back of the arms, up, out, in, and down. Squeeze, woo! How are we doing, guys? Great. Yes, we are almost done standing. Last three more, up, out, in, two more. Squeeze, last one, up, and relax, oh. drop them down. Woo, tap it out one more time. Shake those out, swing the arms. I know, all through here. And don't worry, we're gonna get a nice good stretch through our necks, through our shoulders, all those muscles. We automatically hold a lot of tension. Yep, take yes. it up to that higher version if you want or keep it here. Just from driving, sitting at the desk, we hold a lot of tension here. So it's really good to work those muscles, get them stronger, but also to stretch them out. So just about 10 seconds, then we are going to the mat with our dumbbells. Three, two, all right, quick sip of water if you need it, come on down onto your knees. Good work, guys. Yeah. Just like I said, keep thinking about the way. Yep, think about your dress. You can do this. All of that. Okay, so we're gonna come, you're either gonna come on your knees, so the first one we're gonna do, if you have a heavier set, this is probably a good time to do it. We're gonna do a plank row. I'm gonna give you an option without doing the plank. So if we're here, let's grab both of your dumbbells actually. Bring it all the way up. If you can, abs are pulled in and you're just lifting one at a time. If that feels like too much, you have a few options. You can come in your knee, on your knees, sort of in that knee push-up position. You're still engaging the abs, but still feels like too much pressure on your wrist. Bring it on all fours. You're still going to be in good position to really work through your back, work through your arms. We're gonna go four and three, two and one. So drop it back, take those hands forward. Woo. One more from that plank position. Again, if you don't want the extra abs or it feels like too much, you can stay on your knees with me. Let's take it into a kickback. Okay. So, you're probably okay with those. So you can either be here with me, you're gonna row it up, push it back, and then bring it down one at a time. So very similar to the motion we did wide right before we came down. Or you're here, up, push back. So that's hard on the abs. It might be tough if your wrists aren't used to it. You can totally be on your knees this way, or, on your knee, on your knees this way. Awesome job, guys. Keep breathing, form looks great. Push to the ceiling. Last two. And one more. Up, push back, and relax. Stretch it back, yeah. Here we go. All right, take it over on to your backs. Whew. Grab those dumbbells, so work in the chest. We're gonna do a close grip press. So we're here. If you want a little extra abs, bring the feet up in tabletop. So David had said abs are one of his main goals, so he's gonna do that the whole time. Jeannie, you have the option. So feet can be up or down. Elbows are right by your body. You're just gonna push straight up and down. So similar to our wide chest press, just when we go close, we get a little extra triceps, so back of the arms. So both are good, both are important, but we're gonna do an isolated fly next to really get the chest. So we'll stick with this that gets a lot of muscles. So just pushing straight up, straight down. Again, this is probably when you could have your heavier dumbbells. One more, hold it at the top. So from here, just your regular tricep extension. So you're bending at a 90 degree angle and then coming straight up. So bending here. So notice I'm not moving from the shoulders, I'm moving from the elbows. So what that means is if my hand was here, the top of Jeannie's arms are not moving. She's just extending down. And again, if you have your feet up in tabletop, just make sure that your back is pressed into, your lower back is pressed into the ground. So that way you're staying nice and stable. Good, last two guys. And one more. Good, bring them down, relax for a second. And then let's put them together, why not? So feet can be up or down. I know, this, this workout's moving fast, right? So up 
triceps up, elbows come right down by your side. And again, your feet can be down or if you want them up just to engage the abs a little bit more. Either way, make sure that your belly button is pulled in and you're holding in nice and tight with your core. We always wanna have that core tight even if we're not specifically working our abs. Straight up, take them over, up and down. Breathe, making sure you're breathing. Let's go two more. Up, over, last one. And relax, drop your dumbbells down for a second. Stretch it up, right? I know. So you can either take a quick little 30 second break or if you want, let's just do a little crunch. Lift the hips, lift the shoulders. A little active rest, we call it ab break, I like to call it. That's a little deceptive, that term, but lifting the hips, lifting the shoulders, breathing, pulling in. And totally fine if you just wanna actually take a break or grab a sip of water. We have one more exercise, and by that, I mean two more that then we put together. <laughs> I was just thinking of the combo exercise. These guys like to point out all the time about how I, I'm misleading. Yeah. <laughs> Good, relax, hug it in. Yeah, so the combo exercise is our last exercise, but we'll break it down first. Okay, grab those dumbbells last time. Chest fly, so make sure you have a little bit of space. Elbows are bent, we're going out wide in that fly, squeezing it. So I like to think of it as if you were hugging a tree or holding a, a big beach ball. A little bend in the elbows, but again, the movement's from the shoulders. And then same thing, guys. If you wanna have your feet down, you can. If you wanna have them up, to engage the abs, you can as well. Perfect. Just a couple more, just like that. I know your whole upper body is tired. So let me come just, up anymore, so let's still on the beach bell. Okay. Yes, still holding the beach bell, squeezing in. Good, so hold those dumbbells at the top. So we're gonna do a pullover. So it's not the same as the triceps. I'm, I like to call them Barbie arms. You know how Barbie moves from the shoulders and her elbows are bent. So you can grab, link those hands if you can or dumbbells close. I'm just going over my head, little pullover and bring it up. Now that might feel really heavy to some of you if you have the heavier dumbbells. So it's totally fine to do one at a time or to make it small range of motion where you don't go back as far. This is targeting the very top of the back, upper back, and the shoulders. Again, what may or may not be showing in your dress. So pull over and bring it up. Last two, abs are pulled in tight. Last one. Okay guys, hold it at the top. This is for real, your very last thing. Chest fly into the pullover. So we're going out and in, and then pull it over. Yes. <sighs> Out and in and over. If you've got heavier ones, feel free to do one at a time. If you need to, we're gonna take the pullover, small range of motion. It's up to you, keeping those abs engaged. Let's get two more all the way through. We are so close. Yes, last one. And relax, <laughs> drop the dumbbells by your side. Reach those hands up really long over your head. And actually, if you can, you guys may not have space, but reach those feet long too. Whew, really lengthen your body. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Ah. So just come up slowly. So let's come into a seated position. Right, I know. So take those hands forward, chin to your chest, and just let it drop. Good job, you guys. Yeah. Quick little arm workout to pair with your other workouts. I'm gonna feel that. And then bring it up. Yeah, I think we all are. Let's take it gently to the side. Yep, really pull with that top bottom hand, just pulling the top hand over. And then other side. And then let's reach those thumbs to the back. So start here. If you can grab them, great. If you can't, just keep pressing those thumbs back. And then if you wanna lean forward a little bit too, get a little extra back stretch. And then let's 
let's take the right arm across, drop the shoulder, left arm comes up, and just kind of roll through the wrist. Uh, how do we feel? Good. 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 Yeah. Is it possible to already be sore? Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> it is. That's your muscles telling you you worked hard. Take it other side. You know, it's easy to do it though when you're thinking about that big day. Exactly. Yeah, it's good to have a goal. You know, our goal should always to be healthy and fit, but it is nice when you have an event that you can really be motivated for. Okay, guys, let your head drop to the side and then just very gently take that top hand. So you're not really pulling, you're just kind of giving a little pressure so you get more of a stretch through the side. Be careful with this, nice and gentle. But again, because we're doing all that shoulder work and because we naturally hold a lot of tension in our neck and shoulders, always good to stretch the neck afterwards if you can. Other side, so let it drop. And then gently reach that hand up. And then take it center, let your chin drop. Both hands back, a little press down. And one big deep breath in. High five your neighbor. Yes, you did it guys. That was your wedding dress arms workout. Great job everybody.